Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. Got some of that not available to Orcas. 762 NATO to check out today. This is a subsonic line from Privy Partisan or PPU. It's a 200 grain load. Let's take a look at the table. It's about 75, 80 degrees outside today. Partly cloudy, sun keeps coming in and out. Minimal wind. We have our Pro Kono Digital as always. We have a CZ557 with a 16 inch barrel. Typically, we run at least two barrel lengths in the 308, but this ammunition specifies on the box one or 10 twist or faster, and this is the only gun that I have that's one in 10 twist. We have a target at 100 yards. We'll check accuracy, 10 rounds. It will throw the suppressor on there as well. Ten Ten ninety seven. Ten sixty two. Ten forty nine. Ten thirty eight. Ten seventy seven. Ten seventy seven again. Ten ninety. Ten fifty four. Ten forty six. All right, now we have the Yankee Hill Phantom M two QD thirty cal suppressor on there. We only have seven rounds left. I only got one box of this. We'll take a three and then a four shot group. Hopefully, I've brought the scope up enough that 
to be able to hit the target down there. Now I'll edit this one a little less. Typically the cool thing about shooting the subsonic suppressed is you'll be able to hear the bullet strike the backdrop down there and or if it does ricochet off the backdrop you'll hear it kind of like make different whistling noises. And I did check bullet stability with this platform before throwing the suppressor on, put two rounds at 20 yards right under the same hole there. Normally in the past, <laughs> the bullet's completely going sideways by 15 yards. So we'll see what we get here. Nine seventy one. Ten sixty seven. Ten forty one. Nine ninety six. Ten fifty three, ten sixty. Ten sixty five. I think I'm going to have to raise it up. I've already done it eight inches. This is the second attempt at a group that's like, you know, broadside of the barn accuracy there at 100 yards. I wonder maybe if I'm hitting the dirt or something because I'm too low. I'll raise the scope again and we'll throw the suppressor on there and see what we get. Well, at 100 yards, they're not so stable. They're quiet, but not stable. One, two, three, four. Those are larger than a 30 cal hole and not circular. They're not oblong, so it's kind of stabilizing it, but I wonder if we maybe need a longer barrel? Not sure. Well, chalk that one up for experience. Unfortunately, didn't have the greatest accuracy with this stuff. Again, maybe the 16 inch barrel is too short. We certainly had good stabilization at 15 yards. Maybe it's only a 50 yard load, hard to say. They all were subsonic, so that's a good thing. May have to try some of these at a later date if I get a, another gun in 308 with a 1 in 10 twist and a longer barrel. As always, thank you to my Patreon supporters and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.